Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. For a little bit of fun, let's do some isometric drawing of 3D shapes, cubes like this. So how do we make a cube like that? We draw one, two, three vertical lines. We're then going to connect that to that and that one to there, like a Y. Corresponding points at the bottom of the cube and then the top. And then, as I did there, we shade those there, that one there, and that one there to make the 3D shape. You can see three faces of the cube, obviously you can't see all six. So let's explore other shapes and actually letters we can make. I'm going to make an L, so if I start there and I go down three, and next I'm actually going to go down four, one up from here, I'm going to go down three. And then I'm going to do the, the Y at the top. This is going to be the top of the L. And then it's going to come out here by two. This will be the front of it. And then I'll connect those at the bottom to make the L. And I'll use the same shading I did there. The same side. I'll draw red like that. The top, as though I was looking down, will become the plan. It'll be those three there, only ones you'd see from the top. And then green, I'm going to do the side elevation there. So there you can have an L shape. Now, what you can also do in 3D with isometric papers, imagine pushing this over. So imagine I tip this L over. I would have four lying on the side there, down to three, as though you had a stack of Duplo or uh, some other block shaped letter. And it would be like that. So red is still going to be the one facing almost to the right, if I was looking from this way. But now that green has been tipped over. And you can see it like that. And blue, which would be the three that you'd see on the plan like that and I still have the one two three four one two three four five six there so that's my L being tipped over there's lots of letters you can do uh, in this block shape um, and lots of different orientations we can do I'm going to draw a T but a slightly different orientation to that one so I'll start the front there we go in by two leave a gap to go down So that's going to be the top of the T. I'll go down by maybe one more. And that'll be the side going down. And then there's my T. I'll use the same colouring I did there. So you can see that would be the side elevation, which if you're drawing it in 2D, you'd have one, two, three, four, five. This one is kind of half hidden under there. Uh, the front elevation, if I was looking from this way, would be that. You can see it's a different orientation to that L. This T has been shifted that way rather than that way. There's the red and then blue on top. And if I wanted to, rather than tip it over like I did with the L, if I wanted to turn it to be the same orientation as that, I'm going to draw my T starting there and I have five along there, one down there, so that's the end of it. I've turned the T and I've gone down by one, one, two, three, four, so one, two, three, and one more there. Okay, and now blue's still at the top. 
glue still the, the plan. I've now shifted what was the front, looking this way. The red's now at the front there. And I now have that green side there where that little bit there is half hidden. And that one there. So there's a few examples of letters we can do. Um, you could write the or Lego. Um, if I write down here, you could, we've done the T and we've done an L. Try an H or an I. E is quite good. Uh, F's a good one. And uh, maybe an, an O, um, a blocky O there. All right, thanks for watching. That's Martin Maths and isometric drawing with some shapes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.